In major ports, instead of mere averages, a tides table provides you with the times of high and low water for each day. The most common one looks like this, with times and heights for one to four months. To get the height of tide for a given time, you just have to interpolate. A part of a very detailed tide table, which even includes heights for every hour, appears like this. These tide tables are to be used in conjunction with the graph as shown, which gives a more accurate prediction of height of tides. These graphs are printed adjacent to the first page of each standard port. The left side contains the water height information with the lowest heights to the left, where also the chart datum is indicated. The low water height will be marked at the bottom and the high water height will be marked at the top. The area under the curve will be marked with the time information, with the high time marked in the center and the time before and after marked for whole hours subsequently. To find the water height at a specific time, you will have to mark the range of tides on the left side by marking the low water height on the bottom side and high water height on the top line. And then, join both these points to form a sloping line called tidal range line. Then, you have to calculate the time difference to the nearest high water. Now, mark the point under the curve. From this point, raise a vertical line till it intersects the curve. From this intersection, draw a horizontal line till it intersects with the inclined line of tidal range. Now, drop a vertical line to the baseline and read off the height in meters. This gives a more accurate prediction. Now, if you have to calculate a time of a particular height of tide, say, to clear a bar in the channel, you mark the range of tide for the required time, similarly as shown earlier. Now, mark the height of tide required on the baseline. From this point, raise a vertical line till it intersects the sloping line of tidal range. From this intersection, draw a horizontal line to intersect the tidal graph at the required side. Now, from this intersection, drop a vertical line to the timeline and note the time. This is the time when the tide reaches the required height.